In this video, we're going to talk about data alignment. Most computers have data alignment requirements. What this means is that data that's stored in memory must be aligned according to the length of the data. It can't be stored in just any address, but it has to be stored in certain kinds of addresses. So here's how it works. Data that's only one byte in size can be placed anywhere in memory. It doesn't matter what the address is. It's only one byte. You can store byte data anywhere. On the other hand, data that is half word in length, two bytes of data, a 16-bit number, has to be half word aligned, meaning it can only go into addresses that are even numbers. So you can store a 16-bit number at address 0, or address 2, or address 4, but not address 1 or 3. So they have to be even numbers. Word data is 4 bytes in length. Those addresses have to be divisible by 4. So we say that the data must be stored in word-aligned addresses, such as 0, 4, 8, and so on. And double word data, which is 8 bytes, has to go into addresses that are divisible by 8. And so it has to be double word aligned. Let's look at this example. Here you have memory, and I've shown the lowest addresses toward the top of the page. And each one of these rectangles is one byte in length. So here's byte 0, here's byte 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Notice that I'm giving the addresses in hex, which is typical. Now, we're trying to store a word of data. A word is four bytes, so it's going to require four bytes. So we might put it at address 0, or at address 4, or 8, or C, which is 12, or 16, or 20. Okay, 1, 4 in hex is equal to 20 in decimal. So here is, in red, a potential place where we could store a word, and here is another place where we could store a word. But we can't store one across these boundaries, so we can only put the words in aligned addresses. They have to be divisible by 4, and in hex you can tell if a number is divisible by 4 because it ends in 0, 4, 8, or C. 0, 4, 8, or C, and so on. In binary, if you look at the address, you see that the last two bits are always 0. That means it's divisible by 4. Now let's take a look at double word data. The address has to be divisible by 8, so in hex the address has to end in either 0 or 8. 0 or 8. So here are the places where we can store a double word. We can store it here, or here, or here. In binary, the addresses have to end in two zeros. And here's an example showing half word data. Half word data is 16 bits in length, or 2 bytes, so we can only use even addresses. In binary, an even number always ends in 0. In hex, an even number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, A, C, or E. So looking at that, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, A, C, E, and then it repeats. So these addresses are half-word aligned. 